Go boho chic with this fringe-tastic bag that will spread good vibes wherever you take it. Your macramazing kit includes macrame cord, wooden bead assortment, pattern template, crafting pins, and fabric liner. Your cord will be bundled by length. You will have, for the bag frame, three 42-inch pieces, for the bag, 24 63-inch pieces, and for the handle, five 126-inch pieces. Let's start by making the frame. First, tie three pieces of the 42-inch leather around the top of the pattern board. Secure each side with a pin to hold the frame in place. You can pin the ends out of the way to make it easier to work. Now, let's make the bag by tying lark's head knots with the 63-inch pieces of cord. Here's how to make a lark's head knot. Fold a strip of leather in half, creating a loop at one end. Place the loop under the frame. Pull the ends through the loop and tighten. Do this for a total of 12 on each side, lining up the lark's head knots with the pattern board. Next, add six beads to each side, one on every other lark's head knot by sliding the tails of the leather through the bead. Pull the bead up snugly to the knot at the top. Under each bead, tie a double square knot, pulling in one cord from the left and the right. Cross the left cord over the two anchor cords so you create a loop on the left side. Next, place the right cord over the left cord. Pass cord under the two anchor cords and out through the loop you made on the left. Pull the left and right cords tight. Tie the same knot starting on the right side. Cross the right cord over the anchor cords so this time you create a loop on the right side. Cross the left cord on top of the right cord. Pass the left cord under the anchor cords and up through the loop on the right. Pull the left and right cords tight. This easy rhyme will help you remember. Over two and under one, through the loop, and then you're done. This completes one square knot. Repeat this one more time to create a double square knot. Now, create a double square knot under every bead. When you reach the end of one side, continue around the edge of the pattern board and tie the knots using cords from both sides of the board. Using the pattern board to help guide you, repeat this process until you have eight rows of square knots. To finish the bag, turn the board around so that the fringe is at the top. Connect the two sides by knotting them together. Next, let's create the handle. Pull one side through the frame on the opposite side of the fringe and then fold in half. Braid the handle with a fishtail braid like this. Hold the two sides separate, five strands on each side. Take one piece from the far right and cross it over to the middle of the two sides and allow it to merge with the left side. From the left side, take one piece from the far left and cross it over to the middle and allow it to merge with the right side. Continue pulling from the back of each side and crossing over to the middle and merging with the other side until you have about four to five inches left. You will now tie the end of the handle onto the frame on the same side as the fringe. Allow the fringe from the handle to merge with the fringe from the frame. String the remaining beads on several different pieces of leather, spreading them out. Tie knots under each bead to keep it into place. Now you just need to add the liner. Tuck the liner inside your macrame bag. Use the strings at the top to attach it to the macrame bag. Tie them in tight knots and then cut away any extra string. For a more secure fit, use your own needle and thread to stitch the liner in place. Now fill it with your favorite things and show off your new macramazing bag. <laughs>